and welcome back to my channel so today is a video that no one's asked for um just something that has come to mind whilst in isolation um i think i'm losing my mind just a little bit today i'll be turning myself into a drag queen and i don't know why like i really don't know why but i thought it'd be fun doing some like extra makeup i only ever do or the furthest I go with my makeup is like a brown smoky eye and that's it and it's barely ever that anyway so I thought it's going to be so much fun and I have a blonde wig from like Halloween a few years ago so we're going to do like the whole like shebang um but yeah I'm so excited I don't know I don't know why I'm making it a video but yeah come along on this journey with me and see what happens um the idea actually came to mind when I seen a print stick in my cupboard downstairs so we're gonna do like eyebrows print stick the lot so yeah stay tuned to see what i look like in the process of becoming a drag queen <laughs> so how i'm gonna pick these numbers because i have no idea what colors to do or anything i'm actually gonna put them in a number generator so we're gonna go like one two three four five six seven eight so on up to 40 because there's 40 colors on this palette and just stick them in a number generator and I think I might pick three colours so we'll do like a crease colour a base colour and like an under eye colour one will be base, two will be crease and three will be under eye so I've put it in I've put it in a number generator on google one to forty Ooh, okay, so base colour is number 30. So we have our base colour, which is this bright pink. Okay, so, yep. Our crease colour is 5. Should we mix them up? I think we should do this as a base and this as a crease. So that might be cheating a little bit, but we're going to do... We'll do number five as a base and this one is a crease because I feel like that will work a lot better. And our under eye colour is 28. Oh, so that's our under eye. Okay, so we've got base, crease, under eye. Very exciting. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> right, well, let's get cracking on. I'm going to start off with my Pritt stick, actually. I should moisturise first so that my skin doesn't break out as much. Okay, I'm going to moisturise and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm all moisturised and I haven't watched any tutorials on how to do this so we're just going with it and we're just going to try. Um, so this probably isn't even the right kind of print stick. I just hope my eyebrows don't come off but here we go. Now this is used to like create a flat finish that you look like you have no eyebrows basically so you can redraw them on. I was debating whether I just use my own eyebrows but what is the point in doing a drag look if you aren't gonna do this. This is the whole point of why I want to do it so here we go. But I don't really want glue in my brand new spoolies so. I think I've just given myself laminate, laminated brows. Right. They feel flat to me, but the glue's a bit. Ugh. How does this look? <laughs> what am I doing? don't have any of that loose translucent powder or loose powder banana powder whatever you want to call it so we're just gonna work with whatever oh my god just uh my cork oh my god i can't get it there we go oh dear but i don't have any color corrector should we use red lipstick these brows because we're going all out anyway so we may as well try 
Oh my god, anyone that's a drag, if they watch this, they're going to be having an absolute heart attack at me doing this. Oh my god! <laughs> that's like a sign for me not to be doing this. So this probably won't do anything because I'm not doing it right, but anyway. Oh no, you can still see my eyebrows. I have to put them down properly. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Put myself on the internet looking like this. Oh my goodness, right. This hasn't really gone to plan. Right, I'm gonna use this revolution stick to see if this works. I don't use high coverage foundation usually. Um, I like my skin to look like skin. So I don't have anything super high coverage and I wasn't gonna buy anything just for this look because I can tell you now it'll be a one time thing. Um, oh, my eyebrows aren't sticking down. I've just wiped the glue and stuff off my eyebrows because it didn't work. And then looking closely in the mirror, it was all just like clumpy and red. So yeah, I've took that off and we're just going to start with the eyes. Okay, so we're going in with this pink. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's just go for it. This palette, by the way, is the Morphe Hit The Lights palette and the, and the pink colour I'm using is, it's from the little section called After Party in the Hit The Lights palette and it's called Reckless, this bright pink colour. At this point it's just go hard and go home, isn't it? So I'm just going to pat it all in here. Keep going, make it bright pink like so then i'm just getting a real techniques blender brush and i'm just gonna like gradually blend it and i'm just gonna go through and do the same on the other eye okay so we've packed that pink on um i might do a little bit more in the creases um just because obviously we're going extra we may as well I have no idea what I'm doing anyway. So. I love this pink to be fair though. I just wish I was more. Wow, that is pink. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's so pigmented. And it doesn't have any fallout. Like, I've got no fallout underneath my eyes. And there's no, I don't know the technical name, but like fallout in the pan either. Like, it's an amazing palette. I just wish I used more of the colours more often. Right, I think that's quite intense, but I feel like I need to do my intense times 10 because, like I said before, I literally wear brown smoky eyes. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so I think we're like getting there with the pink now I'm gonna cut in a little bit and put some concealer um, and then we're gonna do our other shades that we decide to do as a base number five okay so that's kind of done I think I need to blend this little bit out but we're just gonna move on um, so this was our base colour, so I'm just going to use like a flat eyeshadow brush and just pack it on. Oh my god, look at that. So I've had this palette so long and I've never really used it other than the normal colours. I mean, I say normal, the boring colours like brown. So I'm going to go in with like a more pointed end brush just to go into the crease. Do I do eyeliner? Hell yeah, I do eyeliner. I'll do eyeliner if I can find that. Right at the bottom. Now I'm stressing. Oh 
so bad at doing eyeliner like up here I usually just do like tiny little flicks but that is not what we're here for today we're here to be extra AF do I look like a model yet so we're gonna do eyebrows now and I'm gonna try and do like the fluffy massive drawn on brows oh wish me luck again Oh, this Morphe eyebrow kit set thing and it literally has the best pomade in it and it's absolutely amazing also please ignore the swaggy nails we're in lockdown so it doesn't matter um but yeah it's so creamy and so easy to put on like I don't know how I haven't come across this before I'm gonna exaggerate the white underneath with some concealer so that they're a bit more draggy than what my usual brows would be because I really didn't want to do like usual makeup so yeah that's what the plan is now so I'm going to do that now and I'll come back when my brows are shaped and better than what they are now okay so eyebrows are bushy and a lot different to what I usually would do so I'm gonna go in with foundation now and it's just the revolution foundation stick um, it's actually a really nice one for like nights out or events it's 12 pound I think so it's really cheap for a good foundation I've never felt this extra in my whole entire life. So I think that's a good sign. So now I'm going in with my whitest concealer because I've noticed that to be a common trend. So I'm very excited to like contour and highlight to the gods. Concealer complete. Now I don't have any like creamed contour or anything like that so we're just gonna do bronzer but I feel like it'll have the same effect if I like cake it on basically. Yeah this is so much darker. Do the nose. This brush is far too big for contour when I was here, but I'll blend it out in a minute. Do it under the chin. Should we add a little bit down here so we have that more line rather than blended? Yeah. Lashes, 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 lashes. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara, but I do have some lashes that I can put on as well. I never ever wear lashes, even for like events or nights out, I rarely ever wear lashes. But obviously, this is a different occasion. Okay, so I'm gonna use like this little flat brush if you can see. Oh. And it was this white colour that was supposed to be on me. So we're just going underneath that. It's not that pigmented actually. Don't feel like that's working very well. Should we go in with the pink instead? I just look like I've got pink eye, which is not the look I'm going for, but it might be the one we end up with. And just so we use the colours we said we were going to, um, instead of using this underneath, because it didn't really work, I'm going to just tap it on my finger and use it in the corners. Oh. Oh. God damn. Okay, so I found some glue. Um, and I'm going to just put these on. 
so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so our lashes are on, but they're playing up. They are not doing as they're told. But I don't have all day. Well, I do, but because we're in quarantine. But like you know, don't want to be doing this all day. Now I'm gonna go back to the Hit the Lights palette and use one of these middle ones because these are, I believe, crushed pigments. I think that might not be what they are, but that's what we're gonna say they are. Ooh, we'll try the white one, the really white one. Oh. I take my hat off to someone who does this on a regular basis because this is a lot of effort. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna overline our lips. So the trick is with overlining is that you overline just the bottom bit but then you join it back up to your actual natural lip. Right okay so we've overlined these lips with a lip pencil and now I'm going to go in with a Morphe lip gloss to make the super shiny and extra and kissable. So I think that's it for makeup. I think. What are we thinking? Is it wig time? I'm actually so excited. I'm actually going to go and get my wig and put it on. Are you ready? I don't think you are. Are you ready? I don't think you are. Because I'm not. Right, I'm going to go and put my wig on this greasy mop. Okay, I don't think anyone is ready for this. I'm not even ready for this. Like, I actually look like I've dressed up as Barbie, not as a drag, and I'm disappointed about it. Like, I'm actually mad about the pink. But, <laughs> oh my god, <sighs> I even match the headband, look at this. I am not digging blonde hair at all, I mean, this wig is probably a disgrace to the wig community or the drag community or any person. It's literally falling out. Um, so yeah, but this is the final look. This is something that I would never do ever, like dress like this. But I actually look like I've dressed as Barbie and I'm not happy about it. But, I mean, if I cut this off. But yeah, anyway, it's been fun to make and I've enjoyed myself, I guess. It's been fun to do something a bit extra and a bit different, especially during this time because it is a difficult time for everyone. And I can't believe that I might, might put this on the internet and look like this, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. Just a little chit chat with me on making myself look like this and I'll be sure to upload very soon. I have so many video ideas while I'm in lockdown. So things like this come to my mind and I guess I just have to do them. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.